All right, come the first of the year, the city of St. Paul will take the concept of the little free libraries and apply them to the big ones. How? By eliminating late fees. Why on earth would a city do that and how is it possible? I asked St. Paul's mayor, Melvin Carter, to sit down with me and explain. Melvin Carter has been at the lead in St. Paul for nearly a year, but rarely have I seen him as excited as he is about breaking up with library late fees. Honestly, I can't sit still how excited I am about Why? it. Because it's, it's such a simple notion, uh, but it's such a powerful concept. So here's the details. Right now, 51,000 taxpaying St. Paul residents have deactivated library cards because of unpaid late fee. That's one in five library card holders. And Mayor Carter knew nothing of it until the library staff came to him. So I didn't come up with the idea to eliminate late fees. It was one that came straight from our frontline staff uh, who have told us loud and clear uh, they're tired of spending 10% of their time negotiating late fees uh, with families uh, who are trying to figure out how to pay the rent. Yeah, library staff said they spend 10% of their hours negotiating with people who are struggling to pay, which equates to $250,000 in lost staff time. Put that dollar amount next to the outstanding balance of all late fees at $215,000, and, well, Mayor Carter saw a solution. Dump the late fees, end the negotiations, free the libraries. We've learned two things, important things about late fees. One, they don't make people bring their books back. They make people stay away from the library. Uh, and two, that people on one side of town don't bring books back late more than people on another side of town. But for some people, a $12 late fee is an inconvenience and an irritation. And for others, it means a different decision about what we can have for dinner tonight. And we don't want that to be the case in St. Paul. What about uh, the naysayers that say, Mayor Carter, stop with these liberal policies. Don't use my tax dollars for this. Well, the big knock on it is it's an attack on personal responsibility. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't, I, I don't think one single one of those folks would say they'd have never learned personal responsibility had it not been for late fees in the library. Uh, and the truth is the library is there for us to learn. And so, you know, when people ask, you know, once we eliminate late fees in our library, how will people learn personal responsibility? My answer is check out a book about it. And about that personal responsibility, this change in other cities has come with a pretty fascinating result. And actually some of the library systems across the country that have eliminated fees have seen their return rates increase and not decrease because people appreciate being trusted and being valued. So come January 1st, with the council's blessing, St. Paul will formally say goodbye to the late, late fee. May they rest in peace. I always joke with folks, this was a really hard policy until I realized we actually want kids to read. <laughs> City Council is expected to officially sign off on this tomorrow. Some of the questions I've already got from some of you on Twitter, well, isn't just this penalizing people that want a book and then nobody brings it back? If you do not return a book, at some point, you're going to have to pay for it. Not a late fee, but the full fee. Also, if you damage a book, that is still the case. So you don't get to keep the book forever. And again, other cities have done this. Washington County has been doing it for years right here in the metro. Eau Claire, Wisconsin says it. Bigger cities outside of the state of Minnesota and Wisconsin do it too, and they haven't reported any problems. Well, there's a bottom line that there are other ways to motivate people to be responsible other than fining them. I don't right. find my children when they act out of line. I give them a time out. You know, maybe there's a, you suspend your library card for a week or something. There's got to be other motivating factors than a fee. Right, and that's the mayor's intention. He doesn't see punitive damage as going towards a person as encouraging them to take part in a process that is supposed to be a place where people can engage and learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah good story.